Russian with passion. Today we're going to study more Russian sounds, but do not forget that, uh, well, on this channel you study not only Russian but English too. So if you feel not interested in this video, do not flee. Uh, well, just wait for the next video and it's going to be about English. But let's talk about Russian today. Actually, we're going to discuss uh, discuss English a little bit too. So we're going to compare uh, R sounds in different languages, uh, namely English, Russian and German. So let's start, let's get cracking. First of all, let's discuss the Russian R sound. Actually, it's not R, the Russian R sound. So, first of all, when you pronounce this sound, your tip of the tongue goes up to your hard uh, palate, uh, namely to the front of your mouth. So, and in this case, the vibrations are very strong. Yeah, so you pronounced it like rrrr. So the frequency of vibrations uh, is not actually very high. Rrrr. You can stretch the sound actually. Uh, and well, we are going to practice this sound more. But let's uh, compare with the English R er sound. It's very different. In this case, your tongue does not, uh, not only the tip of your tongue moves, but actually your whole tongue uh, gets pressed against the hard palate like this and well it's flat pressed against your palate and it is a little bit retracted back to your mouth so when you pronounce Russian R sound your uh, tongue is like this R. but when you pronounce English R sound your tongue is quite flat R. R. and as you can see the vibrations are not so strong and the frequency is much higher so it is not so rough R, English R, Russian R. well uh, however of course in words we do not stra uh, stretch R, R sound very long in words for example we do not say um, работа no we say работа so it's just a couple of vibrations. And let's get to the German R sound, which is very different, but very interesting too. So in this case, actually, it's not your tongue which moves a lot. It's your mm, uvula. You know, it's a little piece, a little, a tiny tongue at the back of your mouth which hangs like this. It hangs like this in your mouth and it, it vibrates. That's how the sound is produced. So it's rrr, rrr, führen, schreiben und so weiter. Of course, uh, this sound does not occur in every word where you see uh, the letter R. However, uh, it's produced in some cases, but this class is not about German. We're going to talk about German, I guess, someday, I hope, that I have enough time. But today we're going to, we are talking about the Russian sound. So, um, that's basically it about the differences of pronouncing, pronouncing different r sounds in different languages. R, r, r. Right now I'm going to uh, pronounce these sounds once again in different order and your job is to guess what language I'm speaking. So, uh, what language is that? It's German. So, of course it is Russian. English. Russian. English. Uh, German. Okay, anyways, let's continue. And now we're going to practice the Russian R sound together. We're going to practice saying several tongue twisters. So let's get cracking. Let's start. The first one is very popular in Russian. Na dvarie trava. Na dravie drava. So basically this phrase means that in the yard there is grass and on the grass there is firewood. So let's pronounce it once again together slowly. 
На дворе трава, на траве трава. Actually, this tongue twister is a little bit longer, so let's pronounce it all together. На дворе трава, на траве дрова, не руби дрова, на траве двора. It's very confusing, but keep practicing. Now I'm going to pronounce it a little bit quicker. На дворе трава, на траве дрова, не руби дрова, на траве двора. So now I'm going to pronounce uh, this tongue twister with pauses and your job is to repeat uh, each time after me. На дворе трава, на траве дрова, не руби дрова, на траве двора. На дворе трава, на траве трава, не руби дрова, на траве двора. So, in the yard there is grass, on the grass there is firewood, do not chop the firewood on the grass of the yard. That's the translation. Let's move on to the next tongue twister. Дворе трава, на траве двора. I'm sorry, sometimes even I get confused, even though I'm a Russian person, but we need to practice. 